Hey, this is Dow Too Fast here, and in this video I will show you this new tripod I picked up. It's the Sunpack Ultra 4STM, and the reason I got this tripod is because the um, the head on this where you mount your camera has a pistol grip, so by squeezing the grip you can actually adjust uh, the angle, uh, the tilt, the pan of the um, camera that's mounted on top here. Another thing nice about this uh, tripod is that this top part here actually is a monopod. You can actually remove this top part and it becomes a monopod. So I just want to give you a quick look on the outside of this box. And it says here that it also includes a free second quick release plate. That's nice. Let's turn this over. It has a folding uh, carry handle oversized uh, flip lever to lock the legs four section monopod and here's a spec on this and it tells you that the maximum height of the tripod is 61 and a quarter inch the minimum height of the tripod is 22 and a quarter inch the maximum height of the monopod is 59.5 inch and the minimum height of the monopod is uh, sorry, 17 and a half inch and the weight of this tripod is four pounds and I believe it holds up to four four point four pounds um, that's what I read up before buying it and the leg material is aluminum chassis material is magnesium the head is a compact pistol grip ball head there's a the back side uh, just a few more pictures of the pistol grip and the head has a bubble level on it so let's get this open uh, let me show you so in this bag we have the uh, extra um, plates for mounting to the camera and it's the lifetime limited lifetime warranty and the operating instructions so here's a tripod let me open up the legs at the bottom Now one thing you'll notice is that uh, once you open up the legs, you'll be able to close up the handle. And what you do is that you push this down. There's a collar at the bottom, which slides up and down. You close that up. And here's the top pistol grip. Once you squeeze it, it moves around, you can adjust the pan and the tilt. There's a bubble level over here and on this side also. The quick release plate is right over here. And there's a lock lever right here. If you squeeze this lock lever, then you move this to release it. So And the quick release plate is made of metal, same as this top part, so it's very sturdy. Um, the pistol grip itself, this one is plastic. There's, they inserted some rubber on the back here, making it more comfortable. The ball head inside here is metal, so that should make it also very sturdy. Once you squeeze it, you can tilt this whichever way you want. And also there's a notch here. I don't know if you can see this here. But if you align this notch right here, you can actually tilt this. This notch right here, you can tilt this 90 degrees. There's also another bubble level here. The leg is padded from top to bottom here. 
and it says a Sunpak Ultra Force TM weighs about four pounds and there's a locking uh, collar here if you release this just loosen this up this will come out and this is your monopod if you look at this I mean in reference to my hand it's it's very compact it's great for carrying around and again once I use this uh, on, as a monopod I still have the versatility of the pistol grip uh, to adjust the pan and the tilts. So when you're done, just put it back in here. And the leg, like most tripod, have these uh, uh, these type of a uh, flip lever to lock it in place. So let me give you one more look of the uh, pistol grip. So there you go. I hope uh, that will give you an idea of uh, how this uh, Sunpak tripod uh, operates. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave me a comment. Just when I was about to upload this uh, video of the unboxing of the, um, the Sunpak uh, tripod, I ran into a couple of issues with the first one that I unboxed. And that's why you see two here, because I ended up getting a replacement one and I'm going to send this uh, first one back and this is actually a new one this is a new one here and that's the one you saw in the video where I unboxed the uh, tripod and one of the problem I had was this uh, locking mechanism uh, they call it the twist and lock um, it doesn't lock and being a tripod if you can't lock it that's a big problem because you can't use it so that was one of the problems I ran into. The other issue I had was, um, I don't know if you can see this, there is a uh, release here. This thing here is stuck. I can't move this at all. I mean, I'm sure I can maybe put a channel lock on it and try to break it loose, but I don't want to break this thing. So if you look at the new one, look how easy that one is. You release this one, this uh, lever here, and then the head can swivel. You adjust it to whatever you want and then tighten it back up. So that's a number two issue. And then the third issue was with the uh, locking mechanism for the quick release plate here. If you compare the two, see if you can see this, you see how this one is way out and this one is not so far out. And if you look underneath on the one that is way out, you can actually see, I'm not sure if you can see this, but let's see, swing this over here. There's a spring here at the bottom. And this spring is actually way out of where it needs to be. And I'm worried that the spring might fall off. See that? It's loose. It shouldn't be like this. Because if you look at the other one, right here, this one. Is very very um, specific as to how far it goes. There's no slack on it. On this one, however, you know, there, there's something wrong with this locking uh, locking mechanism here. So these are the three issues I found, and that's very unfortunate because um, I think the idea of the ball head, the locking ball head. I think it's great and it does work well I mean there's nothing wrong with the locking ball head it works really good but the rest of the tripod that's made by Sunpak quality wise I really uh, question how good it is and how, how long it will last so the Sunpak tripod do have a limited lifetime warranty but when I read the uh, brochure or the user guide 
it says that you know um, you'll have to ship it to them uh, on your dime and then they will uh, fix or replace it and then you also have to include a nine dollar shipping for them to ship it back to you which is kind of unusual you know most companies these days yeah you, you ship it on your own dime to them but usually they'll, they'll return shipping back to you I mean you know this I mean something like this they're nickel and diming you you know I have this I like it I like the design of this as far as the ball head the locking ball head uh, I will keep this new one I got I just want to share this with you so that you know if you guys saw this video you like it you order one and you have also similar quality issues um, I don't want you to be you know unhappy with your purchase so anyways I, I hope uh, you enjoy this video and if you have any questions leave me a comment uh, if you like the video uh, please subscribe thank you